I'm Danford One from OldMiniBikes.com and the 2017 build off thread. This is a Sears Best Green Streak, and I'm adding a torque converter to it. And I'm going to show you a problem that I'm having here. I put the torque converter on the best that it's going to fit, and the pivot point for the swing arm is down below the sprocket and when this goes swings up the chain gets extremely loose right now the chain is tight and I'm gonna ratchet it up I took the one shock off make this easier but I'll ratchet this until this spring here oil binds it okay now look how loose this chain got it is really loosey goosey here and it, there's no way that's going to stay on every time you hit a bump you see as this swings up that chain gets a lot looser that pivot point needs to go up higher more in line with that now if you look at this other sears bike this is a puddle jumper you can see that that pivot is actually a little bit higher than if you do a straight line from there to there that pivots higher and you can see that there's equal gap to the chain now on this one this needs to raise higher it needs to go up by right about there now if I see so this uh it's kind of tough to do one-handed here. I'm going to release this. Now, you know, chain's good and tight now. But you can see that there's it doesn't have equal space here like that one does. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off and I'm going to move it up. But first I'm going to take measurement on the old shock which I believe is 11 and a half from center to center and then compress it measure that and I'm, I'll make some bar stock with holes in it to hold it at the full extension point and full compression point and then I can manipulate that pivot to get the least amount of chain flex because there's just no way this will work um, that's it for now. Bye.